Guitar shifts. First off, I just wanna say thank you for watching my videos. Secondly, I just wanna say, why are you watching my videos? What are you, stupid or something? We got a big video planned for you today. And by we, I mean myself, because I have no friends. Approximately two weeks ago, I asked you, my loyal audience that is also my source of income, to send me some chord progressions for me to solo over. Let's listen to an example of one now. That may have just been the most beautiful thing I've ever heard in my life. After spending many hours listening to these amazing, next level, flawless chord progressions, I narrowed the pool down to five. Plot twist, I actually wrote one of them myself. Please try to contain your excitement. So keep an ear out for which one could be mine. What's that you say? You think you'll be able to figure it out. What are you on, cigarettes or something? Later in the video, I'll reveal which one is mine, so make sure you watch to the end. How disrespectful it would be to not watch the entire video. I'm the best person on this goddamn planet that we call Mars. They call me Mars Brandon. The sequence of these chord progressions will go from easiest to hardest. And believe me, the final chord progression was hard. With the amount of time I spent on it, it really made me question whether or not spending hours of my day trying to record a 30 second clip was really worth it. Fuck the like button for putting in work. The first chord progression is easy. These are all diatonic chords of the key of G, or the G key, as the cool kids would say. G is a guitar player's favorite major key. For chords, we've got G major seven, A minor seven, E minor seven, and C major seven. Let's fucking get to it, mate. Big fun in the sun. That solo was definitely not my favorite of the five. At this time, I wanna point out that four out of the five solos are improvised, but none of them are improvised on the first take. Hashtag Honest Brandon. The final chord progression wasn't improvised because it was actually quite difficult to improvise something that sounded nice. It pissed me off, but I'm not even mad. When I posted my five fucking beautiful chord progressions video, I asked you guys to rank them from what you like the most to what you like the least. Do that here too, otherwise I'll be canceling sex. No more human race. Next solo. This chord progression was in the key of E harmonic minor. The only thing that made this chord progression harder than the last was the B7 chord. This solo is the fastest tempo wise, but certainly not the hardest. Sometimes people assume the faster the tempo, the harder the song. Wrong. Slower tempos can actually be much more difficult than fast tempos. Have you ever set a metronome for 50 beats per minute and tried to play in time with it? It's not fucking easy, mate. I mean, I can do it but you can't. The best approach to playing at slower tempos is to count the subdivisions like the eighth and 16th notes. And if you don't know what I mean by eighth and 16th notes, maybe you'd be better off trying pottery or some shit like that. I heard the cows need to be milked too. solos I played, this one was my favorite. I hated the other ones. I hate everything. This chord progression is mostly two chords and it's in the key of D harmonic minor. It's actually no more difficult than the chord progression before it, but for myself personally, I'm more comfortable in E harmonic minor than D harmonic minor. For that reason, I gave this chord progression the number three spot in terms of difficulty. If you're too lazy to rank these solos in an order from your most to least favorite, at least tell me which one you like the best. Stop being afraid of the keyboard. It's not fucking lava, mate. Next chord progression.
chords of that progression were E major 9, B major 7, A major 9, and C sharp major 9. I really don't think you put enough major chords in there, mate. I ranked this chord progression the second hardest because of the harmony. Most of these chords are diatonic to the key of E. E major 9 and A major 9 are cool, but technically B should be a dominant 7, not a major 7. Then our C sharp major 9 should also be a minor chord quality, which means C sharp major 9 is actually a parallel major. I personally think that the C major 9 just sounds bad. Our ear wants to hear the C sharp minor. I thought about treating this chord progression as if it were in the key of A, but the problem with that is the fact that the E major 9 should be a dominant chord. B major 7 would actually be a borrowed chord from A Lydian, which is the key of E major anyway, and C sharp major 9, again, would just be the parallel major for our 3 chord, which is supposed to be a minor chord. The fact that this chord progression made me think so much despite not having a brain is the reason that I ranked it the penultimate chord progression in terms of difficulty. And if you don't know what penultimate means because you're still on cigarettes, it means second to last. But now, it's time for the hardest chord progression of them all. But first, here's a word from our sponsor. In my previous two videos, my sponsor was an amazing program called 52 Week Guitar Player. In this video, I decided to change things up. In this video, my sponsor is 52 Week Guitar Player. It's better than any other guitar program on the fucking internet, mate. So with that being said, thank you 52 Week Guitar Player for sponsoring this video. If you wanna stop being shit at guitar, then book a call with me. But make sure you're not poor and don't waste my time. If you call me just to talk, I'll genuinely be pissed. Seriously. <laughs> So now that you've finally watched the hardest chord progression, let me ask you something. Why are you still here? Fuck the like button for being dedicated. Now, let me explain why this was so hard. The chords don't really follow a structure, but they kind of do at the same time. The roots are moving in fourths, which means the root movement is strong, but the chords don't fit together really well. To sum it up, because I'm honestly just too lazy to explain everything, let's just say this chord progression is pretty modal. There's not really a strong pull from one chord to the next, but I did my best to make sure they voice led well. To top everything off, this time signature is 5-4. Wait a second. Who the fuck is that guy? The person who sent me this chord progression said he likes to solo over them in a 5-4 funky fusion groove. I have no idea what his name is because I don't speak Arabic or whatever language this is. So for now, we'll refer to him as Squiggly Line Man. The Squiggly Line Man sent me an audio file. Hopefully it's him playing the 5-4 groove. That may have just been the most beautiful thing I've ever heard in my life. At the start of this video, I said I would be revealing which of the chord progressions I wrote. Any guesses? Plot twist. It was all of them. Double plot twist. It was the third one. At this time, I want to tell you to not subscribe to my channel. You know what? Just, just leave, okay? Just, just go. Once I reach 100,000 subscribers, I'll be revealing the location of my new microwave. I move in six days, but by the time you're watching this video, it might be five or four. I move February 1st. Now it's time for me to read your comments on my videos. All the jokes aside, he's a really good guitar player. Thanks, Dean. You can be the evil twin of Davey, who plays guitar. He's officially adopted full into his vocabulary. I mean, it was kind of there before I started making YouTube videos, but... Love your content, but be yourself. Don't try, which is spelled wrong, to be Davey504. I'm not trying to be Davey504. Looking forward to when you can afford more camera angles. If you actually look at my older videos, you'll see that I use multiple camera angles. The reason I'm not doing it now is because I'm lazy and these videos take a long time to make. Haven't played for a while and just read that as F hashtag minor. Please help. God help you. He disliked his own videos. Damn right. Ah, here we go. 
Just as Davy has his own universe in language, Brandon has created his entirely universe of jokes in language. Ja, ja, love it. Thanks, Marty Pardo. He's no Davy 504, even though he tries to act like him. Haters, what do you think? Am I too much like Davy 504? Would you rather me make videos like my last one? Cannot physically fuck the like button. Sorry, man. What are you, stupid or something? I watched one video and I subscribed. Davy 504. Epic. It's like a combination of Davy 504 ish memes and Rudy Ayub, aka Adobe, staring. Fucking A, mate. Collaboration with Rudy, coming soon. I'm done with this comment section.